The Eternal Cycle A Fantastical Tale of Life's Reincarnation In this world, all forms of life, though diverse in shape, are intricately interconnected. From simple microorganisms to massive mammals, from dense forests to surging oceans, every life form is a link in the chain of existence, indispensable. And when one life reaches its end, its energy does not dissipate, but transforms into a new form, continuing in this endless cycle of reincarnation. Humans have always been a crucial link in this chain of life. With our intelligence, we influence the fate of all beings around us, yet our existence is rooted in the embrace of nature. According to the rules of life's reincarnation, humans must be reborn time and again in the forms of other species, weathering the ages and experiencing every facet of this world. John is a product of this reincarnation. As one of the last survivors of the human race, he lives in a world where animals rule. Here, the once wild animals have evolved higher intelligence and control the lifeblood of civilization. John and his compatriots are treated as inferior beings to be enslaved and driven away. During one such pursuit, John fell into a deep abyss. There, awaiting him, were the glorious remnants of human civilization. More shockingly, Amidst the crumbling ruins, he discovered an ancient, mystical book containing the complete secrets of life's reincarnation cycle. Guided by this book, John first understood his past identity and mission. He had once been a human scientist, devoted to unraveling the eternal mysteries of life. In a failed experiment, he had accidentally triggered a device akin to a magnetic field disruptor destroying the door of reincarnation and severely disrupting the reincarnation cycle on Earth. From then on, humanity gradually declined while animals rose to dominance. As one of the few survivors, John was forced to reincarnate repeatedly, seeking a way to break the curse. Not until this day had he finally found the answer. To save life on Earth and restore human glory, John embarked on an unprecedented journey of enlightenment. He had to learn to survive in various animal forms, understand their philosophies of existence, and grasp the true essence of the way of life, all while repeatedly repairing the reincarnation gateway. Thus began John's long path of reincarnation. One life as a leopard, prowling the dense forests, experiencing the wild. One life as a whale, surging through vast oceans, roaming boundlessly, one life as a bird, soaring with outspread wings, surveying the vast expanse of land and sky. No matter what form he took, John absorbed the essence of each being, constantly elevating his self. Through countless reincarnations, John gradually found the key to breaking the curse, to fully realize the truth of life to treat every being in the universe with empathy, and to respect the right of all creatures to exist. Only with such enlightenment could humans regain their rightful place in the chain of life. Attaining this profound realization was no easy feat, requiring John's repeated reincarnation and gradual accumulation of experiences. He became a butterfly, fluttering gracefully, realizing life's vibrant beauty. An ant, toiling diligently, experiencing life's resilient tenacity, a frolicking frog, feeling life's exuberant energy. With each transformation, he grew wiser, understanding the preciousness and rarity of life, while the reincarnation gateway slowly restored itself. Finally, as a white wolf, John fully awakened to the way of life within his heart. On those endless snowy plains, amid the howling winds, he had an epiphany. The truth of life lay in acceptance, equality, and mutual respect. With this realization, the reincarnation gateway was completely restored, and John finally broke the curse, regaining his human form. When John returned to the human world, everything was renewed. P. 
people no longer enslaved or harmed other beings, but coexisted in equality and harmony. The entire earth regained its vibrant vitality, presenting a scene of tranquility. Thus, through his personal journey, John guided humanity onto a new path of civilization. He taught people to cherish life and respect all beings, ending the ecological catastrophe and paving the way for a whole new future for humankind. In John's final moments, gazing upon the revitalized world around him, his heart swelled with contentment. Once, he too had been ignorant of life's profound mysteries. But now, having endured the arduous journey of reincarnation, he had grasped the universe's highest truth. Filled with boundless reverence for life, John transformed into a wisp of wind, drifting towards the reincarnation gateway. 